All right, so in this question, we are looking for our lowest value. Now, when we have questions like this where the fractions are a little bit trickier to turn into decimals or simplify them to be able to compare, we can choose one fraction, anchor it, and then compare all of the other values to this one anchor. So usually the easiest fraction to, to use as an anchor is if you have a one in the numerator, meaning that we'll use one over eight as our anchor and we'll multiply it by eight to turn it into one. And then that will be a very easy comparison to do. Now, if we, if we multiply this fraction by eight, we're gonna have to multiply all the other fractions by eight, so it's an equal comparison. So if we take two over 13 and we multiply by eight, we get 16 over 13. And let's do the same for four over 30. If we multiply by eight, we get 32 over 30. And if we multiply our last fraction, 3 over 25 by 8, we will get 24 over 25. Now if we take a look at all of our answers, 16 over 13 is going to be larger than 1. 32 over 30 is also going to be larger than 1 because the numerators in both, I mean the denominators in both are smaller than the numerators. And this fraction is just equal to a whole one, but our last one, 24 over 25, is a bit less than one, meaning that 3 over 25 will be our lowest value.